place with no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's Casey and welcome back to Vlogmas. So it is pretty late in the evening, but tonight is date night. So I figured why not you guys get ready with me, just go through the whole process. Now, I did already shower and brush my teeth, but we gotta do skincare. I'm going to try to throw on a little bit of makeup. My hair is kind of a mess, but we're gonna make it work. I'm thinking about wearing a hat. But this video is really exciting because it is a giveaway. I definitely wanted to make sure I incorporated some giveaways during Vlogmas, because what better time to get back to you guys than the holidays. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed and everything like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my skincare now tonight's a date we're going to go see Christmas lights which I'm really really excited about I have not done that I think since I was like a little girl so this is going to be really really fun I'm not too sure what I'm going to wear I know as far as makeup is concerned it's going to be very simple our tickets is for nine so we're probably gonna leave here around like 8 20 8 30 ish so I do have enough time because it is currently 6 11 so I do have enough time to beautify myself but I gotta get this skincare right I can't even tell you guys the last time I really really took care of my skin and that's just because I've been so overwhelmed with vlogmas I've been so overwhelmed with getting the videos done for you guys and you guys seem to be enjoying them and really appreciating the hard work that I've been putting in some of you have commented every single day and I just want to say I am keeping that in mind I might have to hook y'all up the ones that's been here every single day or almost every day at least I will say I'm excited about today's giveaway because this brand actually shocked me it shocked me I wasn't expecting everything that it gave, okay? But they definitely snapped. So I think after I finish doing my skincare, we can go ahead and figure out what we're wearing because I want to get dressed before I do my makeup. Now, today was supposed to be wash day for my hair, and I didn't wash my hair because I've been so exhausted. So my hair is currently in pre-poo. I posted a video already during Vlogmas of me pre-pooing and doing the chit-chat, like, get ready with me. But... I'm thinking of throwing a hat like on top of the twist and then just taking out the ends of the twist. Just pretty much like finessing. <laughs> I think that's what I'm doing and I could just twist those twists back. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. So the hat that I'm going to be wearing is brown and black. So it is a neutral. That means we can really, really finesse. Put some eye cream on. Okay. Skincare is done. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my body right now. I've been really loving this. This is the Cantu 100% Pure and All Natural Cocoa Butter Raw Blend with Shea Butter and Coconut Oil. It's actually really good. Now, I don't use Cantu products on my hair, but these body products is given. My skin has been really hydrated, and I am typically a really, really dry girl during the winter. Like, my skin is dry. Okay, honey? This be making me feel all smooth and I be glistening and whatnot. It's really good. Because I use Dr. Bronner soap and Dr. Bronner soap is like raw soap. Like it is like straight soap soap. Like it really does clean you. It doesn't have any of those. I don't know what it's called, but you know how like Dove says beauty bar? That's because it has like a film over it, if you will, that doesn't really clean you. It's just supposed to smell good and make you look good i rather be very very sweet clean and then i can follow up with all my smell goods and my moisturizer i prefer to use my dr bronner soap but with the dr bronner soap it does make me feel really dry like my skin be so freaking dry so i like to go ahead and make sure i use something extremely hydrating on top i'm gonna moisturize the rest of my body off camera and let's go ahead and find out what we're wearing. <laughs> okay, so I'm all moisturized, and now I gotta find out what I'm wearing, but I don't know the weather. So, Alexa, what's the weather for today? Currently, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can expect showers with a low of 57 degrees. Okay, that's actually pretty warm in my opinion. That's, I don't know what's going on, y'all, but <laughs> the weather has been a little, a little weird lately, okay? I've been a little weird. So, what are we going to wear? So, my intentions is to wear this hat. It's really cute, a uh, little fuzzy uh, bucket hat. I had the black and white one on in the hot chocolate challenge, battle the hot chocolate video. So, I really, really like it. It's cute. 
and now just to find out what am I going to wear with it. There's some things in here that I've been dying to wear. It's hot. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all wasn't here, <laughs> this robe would've been boop off because it's hot as heck. Let's see. What are we gonna wear? I wanna look cute. I do wanna look cute. You know, I'm going on a little date. Little see Christmas lights with my boo. I could do like a little sweater dress vibe. I love this. Not with that hat though, but I love this. This is so cute. Looks so good on me. I do have a black turtleneck dress. I can do that with some sneakers. And oh, that might be cute in a jacket, right? I don't think I've ever worn it. Where is it? Is this it? Yeah, I could do this with a really cute jacket, the hat. So we're going to dress this down. I actually really like the idea. We're going to dress this down, put a little jacket with it or whatever, like my black biker jacket or just something on top. I think that's going to be really cute. We're going to do this. Let's go ahead and put it on. I have no idea if you guys can see me, but this is what we are working with. I think this is really cute. It's double line, so I feel extremely cozy in it. So I don't have to worry about being cold. I could do a really light jacket on top of this. With the hat and some sneakers, I think it's gonna look really cute. So now, before we start doing our makeup, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway. Excuse my bed, I didn't make it. But you simply cannot go out anywhere or have a good day without smelling good. That just, it's just not happening, it's impossible. And I was sent a bunch of fragrances to try out. And when I tell y'all, I am living and I am obsessed. So all of these fragrances are from Dossier, I believe is how you pronounce it. And they pretty much have fragrances that are dupes for high-end ones for a fraction of the price. I'm talking like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Like really, really, really inexpensive. So at first I was like, but they probably don't smell that good. They probably, you know, just like smell cheap. No, I was actually genuinely shocked. So this is not sponsored by the way, but they did send me these. It says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And so the five fragrances that I got were five dupes for fragrances I've always wanted to try. So this one that I have right here is called Floriental Vanilla. And it is a dupe for the YSL Black Opium. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it when I sprayed it. It smells so good. So it says the top notes is mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice. The middle notes is jasmine and orange blossom. Base notes is cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. Y'all, it smells so good. So when I first got these yesterday, I sprayed all of them. I have one here, 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 and one on my leg. And me and my mom was like testing them. And first of all, I'm obsessed with all five, but they last really long on the skin. Oh, yes. I highly recommend this. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been getting into fragrances more and more. And they're expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's one of those things that sometimes when I buy a fragrance, I feel guilty after I purchase it because I'm like, that was a lot of money. That was a lot of money that I could have saved, okay? But this doesn't make me feel guilty at all because literally I can get like six of them for the price of one high-end fragrance. And who doesn't like to switch up their fragrances? You need something for summer, spring, Fall, winter, morning, afternoon, night, date, girls brunch, meeting the parents, going with your parents, picking your kid up from school. Like you need a fragrance for all of that because they're all going to speak to you differently. I just don't know which one I'm going to wear. So this is the Florianto Vanilla. Now the other ones that I have, let's go through them really quickly. I have Florianto Almond, also smells heavenly. So this is a dupe for the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And I love the smell of that fragrance. So I definitely wanted to try this one. It says the top notes is almond and peach. Middle notes is Oris, I believe is how you pronounce it. Orange Blossom and Tuberose. Base notes is Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and Cocoa. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, good girl. It's just, it's like sexy and flirty. It's not giving that spicy sexy. It's more so like, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? That kind of, that kind of vibe. Oh, it smells so good. So the concentration on this is 15%. If I'm not mistaken, that is a lot. That's a lot. And also, just let you guys know, it says your dossier order has arrived and now it's time to test out your new perfume. Do you love the smell? How does it feel on your skin? If you're not in love, you are always able to return your bottle. Simply head to the returns page on dossier.co. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name. To create a return label and ship back to us. We've got you covered. I love that. We love the place that let us return some, but we don't love it. 
Now the next one is called Woody Chestnut and this is a dupe for the Mason Margiela replica by the fireplace. Now I had actually never even smelled that fragrance before but I heard a lot about it and when I heard Woody I was like okay I gotta try this so that gives me spicy. This is a unisex fragrance and the concentration on this is 18%. So the top notes of this, alright I already see some stuff I'm not gonna be able to pronounce but the top notes is pink pepper, orange blossom, cloves, middle notes is chestnut, something wood, and then cade wood. Base notes vanilla, cedar wood, and another thing I don't know how to pronounce. So this is whoo. Now this is definitely something I feel like a man could wear. It's underneath the unisex uh, section so if a man is watching this or you want to get this for your man, a man could wear this. But this smells good. This makes me think fall and winter. More winter. And it's kind of making me feel like this might be the vibe for going to see Christmas lights. We're going to place that one to the side. The next one is a Woody Sage. This is a dupe for the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. So Cologne, I'm thinking this is actually a men's fragrance. I picked it up though. It's 18% concentration. The top notes is Fig Tree Grapefruit. The middle notes is Marine Notes and Amberit, I believe is how you pronounce it. Base notes is Clary Sage and Amberwood. This one smells really, really good. I feel like it's probably too masculine for me. But I still really like it. It's masculine, but a clean masculine. I like this. I'm going to actually have Dominique smell this and see if he likes it. Because if he likes it, he can keep it. Because I think I don't think I would actually wear it on me. But it smells really good. I would snip his neck all goddamn day with that. But I just don't think it's the fragrance for me. So we're going to put that maybe for him. He would really like that. And the last one I have to show you guys is the Floral Musk. This one is also 15% concentration. This is a dupe for the Lancome idol fragrance and i wanted that perfume for so long and i never got it so i'm really happy to have this one it says the top notes is pear bergamot i believe is how you pronounce it and lychee uh middle notes is jasmine and rose and the base notes is musk vanilla and patchouli this is so good now this makes me think of spring and summer this is definitely a spring and summer fragrance i mean floral musk it makes sense to me but it smells so good when i tell you guys all of these smell delicious and they last so well on the skin it really makes me feel like i don't think i'm going to be buying high-end fragrances anymore not when there's a company like this around where it's far cheaper and i can just get a bunch of fragrances that i've always wanted to try definitely recommend you guys check them out i'm going to leave links down in the description box but I gotta do a giveaway. I have to do a giveaway. You guys need to try a fragrance. So for showing me love during Vlogmas and everything like that, we're going to gift you a fragrance of your own. And all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure that you are following Dossier on their Instagram. And comment down below your favorite fragrance as well as your email address. I am going to be choosing a winner out of the comments and we're going to send you a fragrance of your own. And I spoke to them and they said y'all could pick which fragrance you want to. So maybe there's something that you've always wanted to try that they got on their website. You can go ahead and pick it out. So rules are very simple. I'm going to say it again. You have to be subscribed. You have to give this video a thumbs up. You have to be following them on Instagram. We are going to be checking all of this and comment down below your favorite fragrance as well as your email address. And I will be reaching out to you via email whenever the winner is announced i think we'll give it to what's today let's give it to christmas i'll be emailing you guys on christmas letting you know who the winner is but yeah i think for tonight we should go with woody chestnut let's do it so i don't do this that actually disrupts the notes in your fragrance so i spray my wrist i also because you know when your man is sniffing your neck you want to get behind that ear okay no pressure points behind there uh-huh oh yeah and also i'm gonna roll up my sleeve you want to get inside your arm make sure you hit all your pressure points and believe it or not the last pressure point is behind your leg <laughs> and i have a dress on so that works and i don't rub or anything because you really disrupt the notes that way oh this room is smelling good okay let's go ahead and jump into the makeup
makeup is all done now <laughs> this is where the problem is right here but it's okay because what we're gonna do is wear a hat and cover all of that up but what I am thinking is I don't want the inside to get too dirty. So a little trick for you ladies, whenever you're wearing a hat and you have makeup on, get a panty liner. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but get a panty liner. It's not like I'm going on the first date, so it's okay. If you see that, he just we're just going to crack jokes about it. But get a panty liner, lay it in your hat. So that way, when you are wearing a hat, you don't dirty the inside with your makeup. Okay, come on. Come on. And I can't invest that time to something that I know Alright, so now that the hat is on, I'm just gonna take out the little things at the bottom. The little twists at the bottom. Try to make that look like something. This is the joys of being natural. Because even when your hair got a lot of body. It looks good. See? That's still really cute. Let's put some earrings on. Okay, so do we do bamboo earrings? Do we do these? No, this is clashing. I don't like that. Or do we do the dangly earrings? I think we do the bamboo earrings because it kind of like dresses the outfit down some. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like the bamboo earrings. This is cute. And I think for a lip... What should we do? First of all, we need to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I was just waiting till my setting spray dried, but we definitely need some mascara down here. Okay, much better. We've got some mascara on the bottom lashes, and I'm thinking a matte lip is very necessary. Yeah, red lip is cute. The red lip is really cute. This looks good. I'm very happy with this right now. This looks good. So my makeup is done. I still have some time. So I did some videos. But this is going to be the bag that I'm wearing. This is my Brandon Blackwood and Systematic Racism bag. This is when he did the like huge launch with all the colors. So I got the red canvas. And it has the gold hardware. So it's definitely matching our aesthetic right now. Hold on. Let's get into the full body mirror. Okay. Don't mind my mess. <laughs> so this is what we're working with right now. I just need to figure out what's going on my feet, which is definitely going to be sneakers because I want to be comfortable. And I'm probably just going to wear my black leather jacket. But I feel like this looks really, really cute. It's like chill, you know, chill vibes, but still, still cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find something to put on my feet. What do we have? I don't even know uh, and I'll probably end up wearing just like my Balenciagas or something comment down below some really cute black sneakers that I can get because I need some ASAP I baked here and now we're in a rush <laughs> he's smelling the dossier fragrances let them know huh you feel about it which was that one this is the woody chestnut I think that's what I have on that is what I have on it's really good I'm gonna put more <laughs> apparently it's um unisex so these are all dupes for very high end fragrances. So instead of spending a hundred and you know, hundred and forty dollars on a fragrance, these are like thirty dollars. Florento vanilla smells really good. Uh, the Florento vanilla. The Florento vanilla. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh yeah, I smell. I smell that you sprayed it. That one smells so good. Florento almond smells really good. Hmm. Yeah, those two smell really good. This is my favorite. Oh, I think the Woody Chestnut is the top of this though. The one I put on? Yeah. My date thinks I smell good. So now we're kind of rushing to leave, but this is the outfit. And yeah, I think it looks really, really cute. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me for my date with Bay. I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to join the giveaway. Remember, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite fragrance as well as your email address. And make sure you follow Dossier on their Instagram. But I love you guys so, so much and good luck. And I'll be sure to let the winner know on Christmas that they've won. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.